So I don't think these considerations are something for which virologists are just completely immune. So Dennis Prager often talks about how he is immune from all sorts of human temptations that he would never compromise in this or that. But virologists will lose status, right? Their profession will become a dirty word. They will be widely loathed by regular people if it turns out that coronavirus most likely came from a lab leak. They will face more regulation, right? They will face more investigation. They will have to jump through more hoops to get funding. Funding will become more difficult to, to achieve, right? Their lives will become much more difficult. So are they just completely immune from these incentives? I'm not sure they're completely immune, but right now, the expert consensus by virologists and the people who would be most situated to know how COVID began, right? Their expert consensus is that natural origin is the most likely. But the news media consensus is that uh, they're very likely started in a lab leak because that's sensational. Uh, that's interesting. So the sensational and the appealing and the interesting and that which emotionally feels good is like, F the experts, they gave us this pandemic in the first place, F them, all right? I can understand why that would feel good, but what feels good does not necessarily do good and is not necessarily true. But you see this same bowing to expertise in this profile here of uh, McAfee in The Atlantic.